Hi guys, my name is Bill, and in this video I want to share a little troubleshooting experience that I had with my refrigerator. Now I just made two videos on how to adjust the doors and the level of the refrigerator, but then a couple days after that it stopped getting cold. So let me show you how I, how I repaired it. So the symptoms that I had were the freezer was working just fine, but the refrigerator was not cold at all. Now when I opened up the freezer, I could hear the fan running. So I knew the fan was working just fine. That also told me that the temperature control was fine because it was telling the defrost timer that it needed to get cold. So it kicked the fan and I can hear the compressor running right now. But when I stuck my hand back here, I didn't feel any cold air at all. So the next thing I did was take a look at the vents in the bottom of the freezer here. And right now they're clear, but whenever I was having the issue, they were completely covered with frost. So the problem I was having was definitely a defrost problem. The machine was not going into defrost. So the freezer compartment got filled up with frost behind the panel and that was blocking air from getting through these vents. There's a vent back here and there's two little vents up here and there, were, there was nothing blowing. Now a bad defrost timer is probably about the most common problem that you're going to have with a top freezer refrigerator. When the refrigerator stops getting cold, and the freezer is still working and that's the issue I had so I'm going to show you a real simple way to troubleshoot this just to verify that the timer is bad or if there's a component inside the freezer whether it be the defrost thermostat or the actual heater itself is bad now if we look at this one here real close we can see that the gears and stuff are turning now and this is the same timer that failed when the machine quit working I actually smacked it with my screwdriver and the gear started spinning again. That's why it's still hanging out until I get a new one. Then I'm just going to replace it. So what I did was now normally this dial sits behind this hole so you put your screwdriver up and turn clockwise. So we're going to put this in here and start turning this until the we hear the fan shut off in the freezer. Now we heard everything shut off. Now the refrigerator is in defrost. Now we're gonna wait about 10 minutes and then we're gonna check the freezer to see if the heater's on. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and I've cleared some stuff out of the way here. And if we look through the vents right here, you can see the orange glow from the heater. Now that means the defrost timers sending the power to the defrost thermostat and it's closed and it's letting the voltage circulate through the heater and glow red hot. So everything behind the freezer is good. We don't need to replace the defrost thermostat or the heater. All this stuff's good back here. So now we got to go back and focus on the timer. If your freezer vents are completely froze up to where you can't see through them and actually see the heater, just wait a few minutes and, and listen because you're going to hear the water drip off the evaporator or run down through the ice and it's going to drip on the heater and you're going to hear some sizzling and popping and all kinds of noise. So you're going to know if it's on or not. At least give it 10 or 15 minutes. Now because my heater came on in the freezer, that's telling me that the defrost timer just stopped in the middle of its run cycle and was never going to advance around to the defrost portion. Sometimes a problem you might have is if it goes into defrost and never comes out of defrost, then you pretty much lose all your food if you're not right there when it happens. Well, I got kind of lucky and my refrigerator temperature was starting to get warm. Nothing really went bad inside the refrigerator and the freezer was still frozen. So luckily I caught it in time, but sometimes you might have the issue where the machine's completely silent and doesn't do anything for a long period of time. And then if you advance this timer just a little bit, which I'm going to do right now, then everything kicks on, then you know your timer's bad. More often than not, if you have an issue with the uh, top freezer refrigerator, like this one, it's going to be related to the defrost system, 90% of the time I'd say. So that's definitely the first thing you want to check when you have a refrigerator that's not getting cooled and the freezer's still freezing. Definitely want to go for the defrost timer, make sure the heater comes on, and if it does, 
replace the defrost timer. Now, if you have a refrigerator that has a control board in place of the defrost timer, which a lot of these energy efficient models and stuff do, on a frigid air like this one, what you would want to do is press the refrigerator light switch five times quickly, and that's going to put it in defrost. Now, if, if you let it run its course after 30 minutes, it'll come out of defrost on its own, or you can press the switch five times again, and the machine will come back out of defrost. That's kind of how you force an electronic an ADC board or whatever they call it. Instead of a mechanical timer with moving parts, it's just all electronic. And it lengthens out instead of every eight hours, it might be 12, it might be 15 hours before it goes into the defrost. I think that's how they get away with calling it more energy efficient because it cuts down on the time that the heater runs or the amount of times that the heater runs in a day. When the refrigerator does go into defrost, the heater doesn't stay on for the full 30 minutes. It might stay on for five minutes, it might stay on for 10 minutes, but the defrost thermostat is gonna shut the heater off when the temperature behind the panel reaches, say, 70 degrees. And you're not really gonna notice that on the other side of the panel. It's just behind the panel when the heat rises because the heater is directly below where the defrost thermostat is. So as the heat rises and it gets through all the ice and stuff that's on the evaporator, that's when it trips off and kills the circuit to the heater so it'll shut off. Because if it didn't, if you bypass the defrost thermostat, which you should never ever do, your freezer will turn into an oven. It'll get hot enough back there that stuff will start to melt and you could potentially cause a fire. So during your troubleshooting adventure and your repair adventures, don't ever bypass a defrost thermostat in a refrigerator. Maybe for a temporary, just to make sure that the heater comes on or something like that, just to verify that it is bad but don't ever run it like that. Maybe for testing purposes if you wanna do something, but don't ever leave it run like that. That's just my advice to you, especially if you guys that are either learning how to repair appliances or don't know how to repair appliances and are using YouTube for information on how to fix your own. Now, if you did turn your timer or you press your light switch five times and put the machine into defrost and the heater did not come on, I'm gonna put some links in the description for videos that are gonna go into that process for you. I'm not gonna go into it on this one, but I will link them in the description. So after you get done watching this one, you can go down there and check those out and they're gonna show you everything that you need to know. And for you guys that are interested in seeing the progress that we're making on this, I've got the front end pretty well stripped down. The motor's pretty well stripped down. It's about ready to get pulled out. Some of the issues with the frame here are the upper shock mounts in the back. They got some holes in them they're going to need fixed i think we're going to replace this cross member piece here it's in pretty bad shape and on the very back here got some holes in the back of this cross member piece that the bumper attaches to so once we get those things repaired then this thing's going to get completely redone it might take a year but that's what we're working on this is how far we got Next week's video, it'll be a lot more. Maybe all this stuff will be gone next week. All right, guys. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I'm going to go ahead and put the links in the description. For those of you who need to know how to check the defrost thermostat or the defrost heater, those will be down there. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I upload new videos every Sunday. So make sure you subscribe so you can get the notifications and stuff like that whenever I do upload new ones. And thanks again for watching.